Hello and welcome on this video tutorial my friends. Today I will show you 10 tips to extremely fast your Windows 10 in your PC. If your computer is running slowly, your Windows 10 is running uh, like a tractor, <laughs> it's uh, running very slow or thinking a lot to open up a window or something. In this video tutorial today, I will show you 10 tips how to run your Windows 10 very, very extremely fast. Uh, this is what I use usually when uh, I have some clients, they call me and they ask me, okay, Danny, can you speed up my computer or something? Today I will show you what I do for them so after, do, after you doing these 10 rules, 10 tips, you will see your computer running faster, like 60% or, you know, you can tell a difference. I will show you what to do and you just type me a comment on the description and let me know after doing this, if your computer really going faster. Let's go directly to the video. Let's do step by step this guide what to do. Voila, here we are. You are here on my computer right now. Let's go directly to the point. This is extremely, extremely suggested from me and from everybody. Remove your hard drive and uh, replace it with an SSD drive. Don't forget that. It's very important. Your computer will be, will be extremely faster. So this is first of all, first of all thing, you have to have an SSD drive, okay? Remove those hard drives with a disk inside. You know, they are not fast at all. You have to remove your hard drive with an SSD drive. This is the first and very beginning thing, okay? First thing, first rule. Scan your PC for viruses. I will use a W cleaner. I like this one. It's very, very uh, small thing. It's an EXE and it's a freeware. You, it's by Malwarebytes. But this thing is very small thing. It's a tool to remove every virus from your computer. Go directly with AW cleaner get free version free download so this is the first thing you have to do search for viruses okay here it is on the uh, downloaded area click on that here okay okay scan now let's see it's downloading database and it's scanning my computer for any kind of viruses Okay, I did the cleaning before because I always care about my, comput my computer and keep it clean. But I'm sure you will find in your computer it will find maybe more than 20 or more than 30 bugs. What you have to do, you have to clean and click the button here, clean my computer. And you will see, my, and you will see the quarantine. And here it is. All of these things are like viruses, you know, and you will be you will click delete and after that it will ask your computer for restarting this is very first thing i have to do okay the second thing you have to do you have to disable startup uh, programs okay there are too many programs who start on uh, uh, your computer they're just running and you don't need them so what you have to do you have to disable some startup programs okay what i suggest you to use is wisecare 365 okay let's go and search on google here search for wisecare wisecare 365 and with wisecare we will do a lot of things today i like this software is free i always use this software to clean up the computer click here for free download type here you have to install this software with this software we will clean also um registry um, cleaner is registry cleaner we will also disable some um startup programs so is the the rule, second rule so I will show you right now. Click finish and here it is. Wise care, it's open up. Okay. With this, we will check up my computer. But first thing, let's go here. Let's go here on the system tune up. You can click optimize. 
it, it's helpful. You can go on uh, Startup Manager, it's very important. But here, let's go on the free version, Startup here. And I all of this software are on my startup. I don't want it all run. I will remove some of them, okay? Look at this, all of these are running on my computer right now, but I don't want them run. OneDrive, I don't want OneDrive running. Click here, off. Delete cache, update, what is this? I don't want it. Click it here, turn off. Second copy, I want second copy. Any desk I want it. Wondershare, helper, compact, turn off. Logitech, download, assistant. I don't want it. VMware, try, I don't want it. L Internet Download Manager, that's okay, it's good stuff, I like it, it's very professional. Discord, I'm using Discord. And this, okay, I don't want this. Everything I want, everything. I use everything for search. I suggest you using everything. But later I will show you how to turn off uh, Windows Search and you can use everything. Everything software for free, it's nice. Okay, Windows Command Processor, uninstall, disable it, disable, 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 e security health, no, I want this, disable, disable, disable. If you want, you can delete the item. So this is the second tip, disable startup running programs. The third, registry cleaner here and click scan. Here on system cleaner, yeah, we found 37 issue, 39, 14, that's okay, 42 software paths. Okay, I will delete the, all of these empty um, links and things and you know. And after that, when you restart your computer, after doing those process, I'm telling you right now, you will see your computer very fast. So it's searching for more registry to clean. Okay, here we are, clean, super. I select all of them and just click clean. Okay, now, common cleaner, files in computer if you don't want Windows system, uh, if you want to clean your browser, Trashe, but for me, leave it empty, a web browser, because I need those, um, I need the history on, of my browser. So, Windows system, I can clean it up right now. Common cleaner. And you have also system slimming here on this area. Okay, nice. I will relieve 1.3 gigs and I will use some chocolate oh here it is cleanup complete nice system slimming I will relieve some space from my computer right now yeah slim down okay cool during this process I will leave a little bit chocolate Okay, let's go to PC checkup, click checkup, and now this checkup is interesting. Google Chrome is running, would you like to close? No. Chrome is running, no. I don't want to close Google Chrome because I want it to open up, and I don't want to clean any history. Okay, you can click the button here, fix. That's cool. Thank you, developer of uh, WiseCare. I use this software, it's nice. So we finish with wise care. Let's go to the fourth, no spatial effects and disable animations on the windows. Okay. We have to go to, to settings, go to settings. Let's go to the settings. On the settings, we can go to personalization or, or, or just right click here on the desktop and click personalize and here you will see the personalization. Just go here on the colors. Disable this transparency effects. We don't need to use any transparency because all of this animation on the windows and transparency things, it will slow down your computer 
because it goes directly to the RAM and directly to the processor. Okay, I disable this. Okay, nice. Another thing, go here on the <clears throat> control panel, go here on the system or just search system. Here on the system, we can go here on advanced system settings. On the advanced system settings, what do you have to do? You have to see here visual effects. We will disable some visual effects. We don't processor scheduling, memory usage and virtual memory. Click settings. If you see all of these, all of these animations and things, it will slow down your computer and what I need and what we need, we will adjust for better performance. Click here, better performance. But I like to see thumbnails on the folders, an icon. And also I like to see shadows, shadow smooth age on the screen fonts. I really like that. I will keep it. And uh, show shadows under mouse pointer. I don't want it. Just click apply. Let's see. Okay. Here it is. Click OK. Click OK. And we finish with the fourth option for speeding up your computer. So what I have here is reduce the boot menu time boot menu timeout. To reduce the boot menu, the boot menu timeout, I will show you right now. Because when your computer starts up, the boot menu is displayed or a certain amount of times and it's set by default in 30 seconds. What we have to do, we just go to set another, we will set on 10 seconds. Okay. Let's go here on the system. Here on the system. Advanced system settings. And you will see here startup and recovery. And this seconds set it to 10 seconds. Okay. And after you restart your computer, you will see your computer boot up logo. It will not be 30 seconds, but it will be 10 seconds. Your computer, it will be much faster. Okay. Six, six method. Disable tips. We will disable tips and tricks. So, and uh, Windows 10 suggestions. Windows 10 do a lot of suggestions to you guys and those suggestions, it takes a lot of RAM and processing and processor. So what do we have to do? Go here on the settings, search settings, click enter, notificate, go on the system, go to notification and actions. And here you will see the tip, get tips, tricks and suggestion as you use Windows. Okay. In my case, I don't like to see to get any notification from apps and other center and you will keep also the notification off this this thing. It will speed up your computer also is another option to do. But if you want to keep notification from uh, Windows, you can keep it on, but suggest it off. OK, guys, seven tip seven search index turn off. This is very cool stuff. As you know, Windows 10 index everything on your hard drive, everything on your hard drive and uh, everything you do, it create an index file. So this will take a lot of RAM, a lot of processor. What do we have to do? Even if you are an SSD drive, you, you just type services and click enter here on the services. You will search for Windows. Windows, 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 search, Windows, search. Here it is. Double click on it. Click disable, click apply, and I will stop it right now. If you want indexing, I use this everything software and everything software is nice and clean. You can find on the internet, on the Google, search for everything. Click enter. Here is the VTools with this everything. It will help to search everything on your computer, download and install everything if you want it. Okay, guys. Okay, let's go. Eight, change your power settings. <laughs> it's interesting, but you know, sometimes users have that um, power settings to power saver, po saver power mode. This will, 
or extremely slow down the performance. What do we have to do? Go here on power, search for power, 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 edit power plan here. Go power options. Here on the power options, you will see the options balanced, recommended. I like, I like high, I like high performance. Click this and that's it. Okay. High performance. Okay. Nine, clean out your hard drive, your hard disk. We did some cleaning up, but I will show you another tip how to clean up. Go to settings. Click enter, go to system and go to storage here. You will configure storage sense of running. Here, click it on and run storage sense during low, during low free. Storage sense run with this page low, okay? Delete temporary files that may, may apps aren't using for 30 days. And uh, that's it. Also, and you can click clean now if you want to release some space and clean up your computer. 10. Optimize drivers. We need to optimize our drivers because of uh, optimizing it means uh, optimizing files and uh, make the make them unorganized to organized, okay? You can optimize your drives to help your computer run more efficiently. Let's go here on the settings, go back, storage, go here, optimize drives, and you will see my C drive is an SSD one, needs optimization, and let's click optimization here. Oh, nice, it did. Zero days signs the lies, Oh, okay, it's 76, 88, that's okay. Let's use here, optimize, cool, optimize, that's cool. System reserve needs optimization, that's cool. E needs optimization, good. Needs optimization, local disk, 23, 30, is analyzing, 60, 70, 80, 9, 100%, pass 1, okay. That's good, close. So now we did the optimization or of our drive. Also, don't forget to temporary files. Cleaning is another tip suggested by me. I don't want to delete downloads because I want it. And uh, Windows update cleaning up, remove files. So, bonus, extremely speedy trick is Deep Loader tool. And this is very suggestive for me. You will see on the next video tutorial, I did another video to use this deep loader, deep loader. On the end of this video, you will see a suggested video. It will be this deep loader tool, extremely fast and extremely recommended from me. With all of these tips, guys, with all of these things I did today and we did together, your computer, it will be faster than before. So if you have any, if you have any other questions, just write me a comment on the description. If you have any difficulties, or something like that just tell me and let me know if somebody has a video request or if you have if you need any help from me write me a write me an email on tips to fix at gmail.com and um, let the comment below on the description and don't forget to subscribe to tips to fix click that ring notification bells on to get notified with all videos i post on this channel and uh, don't forget to see our website tips to fix.com and uh, don't forget to support tips to fix There is a link below and you will see PayPal. And if you have in your heart to bless tips to fix So thank you guys for watching tips to fix God bless you and see you on the next video tutorial.